guys welcome back to another day in the life vlog i'm going to be working from home today as usual and i actually have kind of a busy night and a lot of fun things that i want to share with you so this is going to be a really good vlog i also feel like i haven't done a day in the life vlog in forever so i'm excited to actually sit down and get to talk to you guys I woke up early this morning and did my quiet time and then I also went for a quick walk with my mom. If you guys watched my November goal video, I mentioned that I'm trying to hit 8,000 steps a day and if I do not take a walk in the morning or at some point during the day, like in addition to my nighttime walk, then there's no way I'm going to hit my 8k step goal. So I love to get it done and out of the way in the morning. I wonder what I'm at. I'm going to check. I'm already at almost 3,000 steps, which is a big win because it's not even 8 a.m. yet. I'm getting ready for the day now. I just have to do my makeup, but I have to show you this because I think it is so funny. <laughs> my cat has been obsessed with the bathtub lately. I do not know why. Whenever I take a shower, she like darts in here when I get out so that she can just come sit like this. And I don't even know what she's staring at because there's no water dripping or anything like that, but cats are seriously so funny. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I have been having like the absolute worst trouble with like covering my under eyes lately and I know it's because I, I haven't been getting enough water. Whenever I don't get enough water it like shows up in my face and my under eyes get so dark, so purple. There is not enough concealer or color corrector in the world to cover them. Got a little bit more ready than I normally do on days I work from home. Some days I don't put makeup on at all, or I wear leggings and a nice shirt, and then other days I actually get dressed in like a nice sweater and stuff like that. Um, so today is Tuesday, and on Tuesday mornings I have meetings that I have to run, all virtual but still it's a little nerve-wracking for me um i'm not naturally a public speaker and it's like not my strong suit it has been a little bit of a challenge for me but that's okay because i love to be challenged and i'm I've definitely been improving week by week but what really helps me feel a little bit more confident in those meetings is by putting in the extra effort and doing my hair picking out an outfit that I feel good in putting on a little bit of makeup it just kind of makes me feel a little bit better about myself and then it shines through um, when I'm giving my presentation so just a little tip I have for you if you guys get nervous to do like public speaking or host meetings or really anything um, whether it's spending five more minutes on your hair and makeup or picking out an outfit that you're comfortable in or maybe reading the word or doing something like that um whatever it is to just give you a little bit of a boost of confidence do that and it will definitely help shine through and make you just feel a little bit more comfortable when you're doing something that's out of your comfort zone. But anyway, it is eight o'clock now. I just got ready really quickly. Um, I'm gonna quick make myself, I have to wear this because I have to get my steps in. I'm tracking them a little bit more diligently. But anyway, I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast and start prepping for my meeting today. I also wanted to mention this sweater is actually the Wild Fable line from Target. I have another sweater that I picked up from Target that I want to share with you guys today. Target has been killing it in the sweater game and they have a lot of good ones for good prices and like I could easily put a pair of dress pants on and wear this to work. I think it's definitely you can dress it up or down. It's so cute. Brown is like a really in color right now too um, and if I remember correctly I think it was like $15 which is a really good steal. And I also want to mention the sweater it's not like itchy or scratchy or anything like that. I hate sweaters like that so I never buy ones like that but I will show you the other one later on. I gotta get started with my work day. Romy is still in the dang bathtub. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone back now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be more
Okay, I'm on my lunch break now and I thought I could show you a little bit of my bathroom update. Filmed like a vlog on it a while back and I haven't really given an update since so thought I could give you one. Got the door painted. It does still need another coat. I left that open this morning. But yeah, have that plant. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the counter. Also have that plant that I want to hang from the ceiling somewhere. I got this sign and I love it. Got it from Etsy, it is like calligraphy or whatever, handwritten. I have somebody coming to switch out the lights. I'm so happy about that. Got the towel bar installed and the toilet paper holder. Right here, I'm gonna be adding in some shelves. These are actually the shelves. I'll try to hold one up to show you. So something like that, one here, one here, and then I'll decorate them. Um, it's kind of like the same wood color as the mirror, which I was kind of wanting. I wanted to add a little bit more of wood touches in here. I am not somebody that really likes um, like the farmhouse decor. That's not really my style. I like it to be a little bit more transitional. But anyway, real quick, I wanted to show you my other sweater that I got from Target. Like I talked about this one this morning. I love it. So cute. And I'm going to quick put on the other one and show you it. Okay, so this is the other one. I have like a coral bralette on so you can kind of see it through my sweatshirt or through the sweater, but it's okay. I just wanted to try it on for you guys. I think it is so cute. It has little like puff sleeves. My mom said it looked a little grandma to her, but that's all right. I love grandma style. Um, and I thought that this would be really cute for like Thanksgiving or church or just any time that I'm trying to like dress up a little bit. Kind of have it like folded and tucked under, but it does go down a pretty decent amount. I love the color. I love that it's like a cream and not a stark white. White does not look good on me. <laughs> just wanted to mention this because I think this would look super cute with like gray dress pants if you need some workday outfits or something more dressy and obviously I'm wearing it with jeans and I also have like a grayish black denim I think it would look good with or even a skirt like there's so many things you could do with this needed to show you and wanted to recommend that you check out Target because they have so many good sweaters and things like that lately. If I'm being completely honest, I haven't been that impressed with Target up until lately just because I felt like a lot of their clothing wasn't that cute. It looked cheap quality. Um, I mean, I, normally I love Target, but just like the past few months before fall hit, I just felt like I hadn't really been finding things there. But once fall hit and they started getting in all these good sweaters, it has completely done like a 180. So definitely check out Target. You won't regret it. I just made myself some lunch, two fried eggs, um, a protein cinnamon English muffin with a little bit of butter and then this is kind of random but it is just some like healthy chicken salad from Lily Eats and Tells and it's in a Joseph's Pita so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch I'm excited about it I know it's really random but it all just sounded good to me I feel like most of the time I sit at my desk and just like continue working and today is one of those days um but sometimes I do like to like sit down and chill and play on my phone too. So it really it just depends what I got going on. Today is just one of those days where I am so sleepy. I'm like halfway through my afternoon and I still have a little bit left to go and I really need some help from my loyal and faithful friend, my Nespresso. I just got done writing my to-do list for tomorrow, Wednesday. Writing my to-do list, especially on busy days, is like been such a lifesaver for me because um, I'm able to kind of like transition from 
work life to my personal life. Writing my to-do list and doing like a brain dump and just getting everything out helps me to like not think or feel like, oh no, I need to go work on that or I need to get this done or just like think about work stuff. Positive work-life balance is a good thing and I never want to spend too much of my personal time worrying about work. I want to be 100% in each category. So 100% at work, 100% outside work. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing them. Like I said, if you work from home, um, but if not, even if you work in the office, I think that they're really, really good for that too. But now I'm back in my bathroom and I'm just gonna like real quick freshen up my makeup because I'm actually going to go to dinner with one of my friends to dinner with one of my friends. I feel like I said that weird. Um, I'm really excited about it. I feel like I haven't done anything really with my friends in a while, so it'll be good to get out of the house. Sometimes I feel like working from home. This is crooked. Sometimes I feel like working from home, I get a little stir crazy. Um, don't get me wrong, I love working from home, but it's nice to get out and like see the world and not be cooped up in one little room. I've been putting this lip sleeping mask like over my lipstick. Just helps make it look a little bit more natural and like not as much like lipstick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I just like it. Just am obsessed with that lip sleeping mask. If you have it, I think it looks really good and natural. These under eye circles, man. I swear nothing is covering them. Such a pretty fall day outside. Okay, have you like propped up on my dash because I have no good spot to film in this car. I need to figure it out. I need to get like a sticky thing or a mount and find the best spot in this car. Um, and I'm obviously not looking because I'm driving, but I'm on my way to my friend's house and I'm excited because uh, she's newly married. I'd say about, I'm married for about a year, a little over a year. And she um, has some stuff from her wedding that she's gonna show me so that I can look through like decorations and that sort of stuff so I can look through it and see what I would like for mine. I think our um, like styles are pretty similar so I'm excited to look through what she has and hopefully reuse some of it. The wedding decor industry, honestly everything with weddings is so expensive so any way that we can reuse and save and um, that sort of thing is a big bonus to me. But I'm about to be at her house so I'll check back in later. All right, I just got back from dinner and I wanted to show you the table numbers that I'm gonna be borrowing from my friend for my wedding. So they're just like these acrylic ones. Um, I think they're super cute and elegant and classic. I just really love like the clear background. And then they go like in this little wood holder and they sit on your table. So I really like it. I think they are so cute like I said, and elegant. So I'm excited to use these for my wedding next year. Just a little like wedding planning update because I feel like I haven't given one in quite some time. Things are going along good. I actually just booked my videographer, which I'm really excited about. He's actually a friend of mine and he's really good. So I'm excited to see everything he's gonna do with that. I am working on my save the dates. I'm not sure like how far in advance I really need to be sending them out. My wedding isn't until next August, but I know that there are so many weddings next year, so I feel like I should just like get them ordered and sent out as soon as possible. I also don't really want to send them out in the middle of like Christmas season because I feel like they're probably just going to get lost in the mail. Um, so I feel like I either need to do it like now or 
the beginning of the new year. So at the rate that I'm going, it's probably going to be the beginning of the new year. And then I'm also going to be meeting with a new florist. I don't know why flowers has been like the most difficult thing for me, but um, I'm meeting with one on November 20th. So hopefully we click and I can get that taken care of too. I don't really think I mentioned, but the last floors that we have, they were great. It was just going to be a really big delivery fee and I felt like I didn't really want to pay the delivery fee and I would rather um, find somewhere a little bit more local where I didn't have to pay such a large delivery fee and maybe if I maybe if the flowers were a little bit more expensive um, that would be okay then because I would be getting more flowers and I wouldn't be paying a fee so I don't know if that made sense but that's my thought process and kind of why I wanted to check out a few more options before booking the original place that I was planning on going with. But yeah, I have lots of stuff and I feel like my wedding planning stuff is just going to come full force come the new year. I'm telling you, this time change is like really getting to me. It is only 6.42 right now and I am so tired. <sighs> so I think I'm going to put my pajamas on, probably read a book or I might watch Made on Netflix. I've been like really obsessed with that lately. With that, I think that I'm going to end this day in the life here. Hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Don't need someone to save.